Thank you for agreeing to do the Skype interview. I appreciate it. Today, this is what I, I would like to talk about because this film was really one of the most enlightening films I have seen about this topic. Oh, thank you. And I want to first thank you for making it. And it's called, for, I'm making this for Americans who have never heard of your film. Uh, it's called Scientists Under Attack, Genetic Engineering in the Magnetic Field of Money. And yeah. first I'd like to ask you the question, how did you, what was the, the turning point that made you want to make this film? Um, I'm a filmmaker since 35 years already and we made all the time films only on environmental, political, social subjects and in the beginning of the 90s I was asked to make a film on the so-called cancer ma mouse which was patented in the European patent, patent office here in Munich. And so um, I refused because I said, I'm not a scientist, I don't know anything about it. And um, then five years later, I saw a very small article on um, terminator, terminator seeds. Yes, yes. Yeah. And that opened my eyes. And from that point on, I started to make films on GMO. Yes, because... In the in the last 10 years, we made nine films. And this film, uh, Scientist Under Attack, is the ninth film in this, uh, uh, in this line of films we made on this subject. And, um, yeah, uh, at the end of an, uh, the film before, which was called Life Running Out of Control, if you don't know this, you should have a look at this too, because this is also enlightening. Uh, life running out of control, there was a scientist from Norwegian, from uh, Norway, uh -huh. and, he's, and he said that he supposes that 95% of all scientists who are working in this area are dependent from industry. And yes. um, if you are lucky, there were 5% which were independent. Yes, and yes. so I followed this uh, sentence and tried to find out how the situation of the scientists in this area are. And we, we took uh, Albert Pustai as yes. one example and the second uh, Ignacio Chapella. Yes, yes. Uh, let, let, let me ask you if, if this uh, is this a live interview which you will publish? Uh, yes, pub we're. Or, uh, you, you don't write it down? Or? No, um, the main form of really information gathering is YouTube for the masses. So I would like to bring your, your film and, and get it more exposure because your film really clears up a lot of questions. The films that I've seen only deal with the aftermath of our food system, but they don't go to the heart of the matter, which is what you've done. And, Thank you. Uh, you know, like I said, Arpad Putsai was, uh, I mean, Sorry. isn't he the, the, the key in all of this? The first scientist to study GM food on rats? Isn't, isn't his, aren't his studies the the foundation of the the snuffing out of this information? Yeah, that's right, because uh, when he started his work uh, in, uh, in the mid of the 90s, uh, there were no study about GM and what are the dangers for health and for environment and so. And he himself, he was in good faith. He's, he said, uh, in, in yeah, faith, uh, he thought there could be something good coming out of it. Right, and, right, right, right. Then he did his uh, experiments and found this uh, terrible, uh, made this a uh, terrible experience. And then he said, 
what I have found here gives us the clear um, uh, the clear um, uh, the clear question to look deeper and to see what really happening there.